It began with an innocent move into a new apartment. But for Greg, what lay beneath his feet would soon turn his world upside down. As days passed, he discovered that some places are better left unexplored. Hello, hello! I am Arudai, and welcome to Moonskull. If you're looking for tales of horror, the paranormal, sci-fi, and the unexplained, then you are in the right place. I'll tell you 4,000 wonderful fear addicts, as well as the 30% of you closet horror buffs who still have not subscribed, the story I just mentioned. But first, let me show you how you can show us your support. If you enjoy our spine-tingling tales and want to keep the nightmares coming, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. You can also support us by using the donation link on the screen, which can be found in the description of the video. Your support helps us keep bringing you these wild stories from the unknown. Now, let's dive into Greg's eerie experience. It all started a few weeks ago when Greg moved into his new apartment. The building had character, old but affordable, making it the perfect fit for someone just starting out. The landlord, a grizzled man with an air of mystery, warned him about the basement. Just a storage area, he said. Not safe to go down there. But as anyone knows, curiosity has a way of pulling you in. One night, while settling in, Greg heard faint noises seeping through the floorboards. The kind of sounds that make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. It was a scratching like something or someone was trying to get out. Initially, he brushed it off as the building settling. But the noises grew louder, morphing into a soft, muffled whispering of his name. A chill ran down his spine, but he couldn't resist the pull any longer. Alone in the apartment, he grabbed a flashlight and with heart pounding, descended the stairs into the basement. The moment he stepped down, an icy breeze hit him, the kind that seeps into your bones and makes you shiver. The basement was dimly lit, filled with shadows dancing in the corners. Dusty boxes and forgotten furniture surrounded him, remnants of lives once lived. But then he heard it, soft whispers chillingly close. He spun around, flashlight beam darting through the darkness, but he found nothing. Fear coursed through him, and he bolted back upstairs, slamming the door behind him. That night was sleepless. The whispers echoed in his mind, a haunting reminder of what lay beneath. The following day, his curiosity got the better of him, and he confronted the landlord about the noises. The landlord's expression shifted from indifference to alarm. You shouldn't have gone down there, he warned. That basement, it's not what you think. Since that fateful encounter, the whispers have ceased, but Greg couldn't shake the feeling that something was lurking in the shadows, watching and waiting for him to return. Late at night, he would lie in bed, chills running down his spine, sensing the presence that had made its home beneath him wherever he goes. And there you have it, folks, a haunting tale of a seemingly ordinary home that turned into a terrifying nightmare. What do you think was lurking in the basement? Was it merely a figment of Greg's imagination, or was something darker waiting for him down there? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want more of this kind of wild paranormal real life madness, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe because we got plenty more where that came from. I'm Arudai, and until next time, stay curious, stay cautious, and remember, sometimes the scariest things are the ones we can't explain.